Hi, I'm Miriam Freer and today we're going to talk about the Enyo bathroom zone. And if you remember, we sell things in zone packs because it enables you to make this whole area chemical free for the next three years. So first of all, I'm going to tell you about the four items that come in the zone pack. First of all, we have the glove and the glove is the same on both sides and this is this has the Enyotex fibre on, this is the one that enables us to clean six times more effectively than if we use chemicals in this area, it gives us that deep pore clean <coughs> and leaves us that lovely smooth Enyo Pure finish that we get. And if you remember the Enyotex fibre has limited absorbency and so we need to dry behind with the Enyofil. This is the one that inhibits the regrowth of the bacteria and leaves it lovely and streak free. Also in this pack, we get a duo cloth. All right? If you have a look at that, you'll see that there are two sides to it. This side, which has the Enyotex fibre on, that's just the same as this glove, it's just the glove is well used. And then on this side, we have a fibre that we can either use to dry behind the Enyotex fibre, or we can use as a quick wipe around. And I use that during the week to wipe around in my basin after that's been used, uh, just to, to wipe it around. I don't need to finish off with the Enyofil because it's a, a ceramic, it's fine for that. Or some people choose to use this one just to clean their toilets. All right, so you can clean with that side and you can wipe behind and dry with that and it will give you a good finish on your ceramic. Then we also get this one. This is a bathroom wand. And traditionally, this is what we tell you that you can clean your toilet with. And also, it's anywhere that you want a pointy stick in the bathroom. So whether that is cleaning around the underneath your taps, difficult to reach places, um, round in the base of your shower, or I use it to clean around the hinges of my toilet, it also gets up and under the rim, all the way around the loo, underneath the U bend. And I just flush it, and then it clicks off, and in it goes in the wash with everything else. Right. Let's start with these two then. So here we are with my basin. And actually, the place where we have the most bacteria in our bathroom is our basin and our flush button. But this is historically where I've always started. It's where many other people start. We don't need a huge amount of water in the bathroom. And generally, what happens is we end up with um, usually some moisture already here when we get going. So we can use that to help us. And what we need is a nice flat hand. You'll pick up all of that soap scum that there is around my basin. I can take the glove off and work underneath my taps, getting into all those pores and crevices. And just where I get a bit where it's a little bit scummy, I can just work on that a little bit. And then if you remember, the Enyotex fibre has limited absorbency. And so I just need to dry behind with my Enyofil. It's going to inhibit the regrowth of the bacteria. And that is what is going to leave me my beautiful streak-free finish. So we'll have a look at that when that's just evaporated away. Now usually what happens is if we've used our Enyo, or we've used a cloth somewhere, then we would go and rinse it out. Uh, but with Enyo, we know that there's no transference. So we can see we've just got bits of dirt there that I've picked up off my sink. But I can quite happily go and work on my shower, on my glass, which is historically a difficult place to clean. All right, but just using little circular motions I can clean all the way down. I need enough water so that the fibre can aggravate up the dirt all over my chrome, but I don't need so much, all right, that I completely saturate it. And then all I do is I wipe over with my Enyofil all the way down. And that will give me that streak free clean every time. You can see the shine and the reflection on that. So I can use this glove and the Enyofil all the way around my bathroom and also I can quite happily clean my toilet as well. I know there's no transference so I can wipe all the way around, all the way over the top 
all right, and give it a good dry off. However, as I've said already, if you don't want to do that, then some people use this little duo cloth to be able to clean their toilet. And we've talked about the wand for cleaning inside. Now, one problem that we get in the bathroom is lots of hair and lint, and bits and pieces fluff off the towels, and so what I would recommend as well is these cloths, which are excellent at picking up lime scale and uh, calcium and toothpaste and all those things that we get in the bathroom, what they don't do is pick up hairs and they don't pick up lint. So when everything is nice and dry in here, come in with your duster and all you need to do is charge it up and then just whiz around and that will pick up any of the remaining hairs that there are in here. And then, of course, when everything is dirty and you've used it all, all you need to do, pop it into your laundry bag, pop it into the washing machine, no fabric softener, wash it at 40 to 60 degrees, hang it up when it comes out, and then it's ready to use again. Chemical-free cleaning for the next three years. If you have any questions, please get in touch. You can reach me through my Facebook page, NU UK with Miriam Freer, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thank you.